just about 13 past the hour on this Saturday. Welcome back to Morning Drive. And we already strengthened your mental side of the game this morning with sports psychologist Dr. Gio Valiente. And now it's time to work on your physical side of the game. Joey D is a fitness trainer used by many of the top players on the PGA Tour and recently joined our Matt Janella in our studio here at Studio AP to offer some simple tips to help you get fit. All right, thank you guys. Joey D, what do you have for me today? Hey, well, I, I have three interesting drills, but I, you know, first let's start with, I've been following you on your golf journey. You went, it was your birthday, you had a great time, you played a lot of golf, 36 holes, and you were working on some things. What were you working on and where are you in your golf body right now? Well, uh, right now, I, I have no idea where I am in my golf body, I can tell you that, that right <laughs> now. You're gonna help me with that, but, uh, but my golf game, I'm actually really working on, and a common flaw for me, and I, I would imagine for most amateurs, is the disassociation between lower body and upper body. I, I try to keep everything so quiet in my lower body, I actually make, make everything quiet in my entire body. Makes me pick the club up. Instead of keeping lower body and, and still making this turn, I pick the club up and then I'm stuck and now I hit the high rights. So sort of being able to keep the lower body quiet and still make this turn is something I'm struggling with right now. Well, I have three drills today that I think can address all of the issues Matt just talked about. I thought you would. So let's get started. <laughs> okay. First drill that we're going to do requires a mat or some surface that's comfortable. So Matt, get down on the, on the, on the ground. Take right one leg, left. right or left, doesn't matter. I'd like you to do both sides at home, okay? And I'll describe what I want you to do. I'd like you to do it. You know, people always go, how many times should I do this? Repetitions, time, listen. Feel is most important. When you start to feel it, you know it's enough. That okay. might be seven, that might be 10. For some of you at home, it might be 20. I don't know. Feel is real, okay. remember that. Okay, Got it. so here's the instructional part. Here's what I want you to do at home. Arms out in front of you. Make sure that your head does not move until the very last piece of this drill. And what I'd like you to do is make a couple of complete turns where you start to feel very quiet on your lower body and a lot of rotation and awareness on your upper body. So Matt, go ahead and take a few all the way through. You know, and, and what I want you to look at is, it, it, Matt, as he turns right, you can see the left knee start to move towards the right. So the more you literally engage the musculature in your body, or the more quiet you are in your lower body, what do you feel right now? I feel tension. Yeah, you, know. you feel tension. So when he says tension, what he really means is you feel activation awareness, or yeah. awareness. Yeah. And that's what we're driving for. Now, here's a little tip. For those people who want to actually get a little bit more awareness, if you have a medicine ball at home or an object that's slightly heavier, Take one or two turns without the ball or the heavier object, and then take one or two with it. And why don't you describe what you feel? Well, now it starts activating the, the upper body. Not only am I feeling the lower body sort of be tense to try and stay stable, right. the upper body is now sort of waking up. I'm at, you know, you get, so I go, yeah, it's, it's all sort of activating up top. Yeah, so what Matt is saying is, as he's very well aware of what's going on in his lower body, his upper body becomes more active and aware, so you start to get a greater sense of turn, rotation. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so there you go, that's a simple drill. Let's go to drill number two, which is gonna require a little bit more balance and paying attention to what goes on downstairs, and then we're gonna get a little bit more technical as we put these pieces together for the last piece. If you can go over there and grab that heavy club, what I would like everybody to do at home is if you don't have a heavy club, that's okay. This works very well with just a regular golf club. So what I'd like you to do is start with the club up in front of you, okay? And then keep your arms connected because you wanna have a good pre-setup pre routine even in your golf body work. I want you to actually take one step forward, drop the club down as if you were going to take a swing right, a practice swing, and then put all the pressure with the right knee flex and spine angle on the front leg, because this is how you create good awareness or activation with balance. Got it. Then what I'd like you to do is put the club on top of your chest, very high up by the collarbone, without moving your head until the very end of this drill, and I'm gonna actually even readjust this club a little higher on that, okay? I want you to create a full and complete backswing, with a toe, toe wow. with wow. with all of the weight, remember to the front of the body, and then go ahead and turn all the way through. Right, and do it again. Now, for those wow. people that want to challenge themselves even more, I'm going to actually walk over to the other side over here, and what I want you to focus yeah, I need on, more challenge. right? I want you to focus on. Come on down here with me. Is look at Matt's foot. 
This is very advanced, but I think you'll really appreciate if you need this drill to be a little bit more intense. Go ahead, Matt, go all the way through that drill and let's see what we feel. Okay, so Whoa. you see, listen, this is not <laughs> Matt not being efficient at these drills. This is the challenge that most professional athletes go through to create those beautiful, flawless swings we see on TV. But I can, I can see where both of what you just had me do definitely is gonna help teach me the disassociation I need to be able to not only keep my lower body quiet, but make that, continue to make that shoulder turn. Yeah, and I like that. So disassociation is the word. To feel change and to make change, you have to activate the lower body. So let's go ahead with the finish. This finish requires a little bit of tubing. Any tubing will do, okay? Make sure the tubing is secured with, a, with some type of surface that you know your anchor point is not gonna disconnect. Okay. Okay, so I'm gonna hand Matt this band. Bottom okay? of a door or something? Bottom or? of a door, anything that's a heavier object. I'm using a dumbbell here, right, 65 mm -hmm. pounds. So something that you really know is secure because this resistance tubing has to be anchored real well. Okay. And what we really wanna do is, again, we're gonna connect it all. And, and I want you to literally start with your left foot. Okay. And then now what, what we're gonna do is using constant resistance, I want you to turn, create a spine angle, a left knee flex, head is quiet, and use this resistance tubing. Everything is connected and make a few swings. So now we're sort of, we've moved over to the left side yes. and we're going to the, to the follow through. Absolutely. Okay. So we went back swing, now we're going follow through and here's just another drill wow. that really creates body awareness. You know, we said this many times before, to make change, you have to feel change. So what I want you to do is make sure that the resistance tubing that you use is tubing that feels like you can accomplish the same feeling you want in your follow through. And, that, and, and, and I've never, you know, just in these three drills, to, to focus so much on my lower body, feel so much of what's going on in the lower body in the swing is something I don't do when I'm usually out hitting golf balls. You know, I want to actually just reference these three exercises if we could. The first exercise was more of a body awareness drill, right? So you start there, activate things, get, get aware of what's going on. Right, so you, you activate, you're closer to the ground, you have to really pay attention to extension. How do I create good movement patterns? The second drill was a little more golf specific because you attach a club or to the anchor point, which is the upper body, what did you feel? I felt the tension, I felt, you know, I felt the disassociation. Right, so one drill started on the ground, the other drill started in what we would call somewhat of a very, you know, good golf set up position with good golf posture. So we had good knee flex, we had really started on the right side, right? That drill was a right sided drill. And we made sure that we had a complete turn with the head not moving all over the place. I think your golf teacher, your teaching professional, anybody you're working with would really like the fact that the head is quiet it releases when it's supposed to, and you're really aware of what goes on. And what did you feel in the third drill? The third drill was the sort of the finish, everything coming together and feeling it all working together. Left side. So try these three drills at home, and, and I'm telling you, you're gonna start to feel the golf body wake up. Thank you, Joey D. Tomorrow, Joey D is back for the guy who's been on the buddies trip, played 36 a day for four days, probably uncommon, and thus you're sore. He's gonna help us stretch it out right here on Morning Drive.